boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart and today we have finally have, we finally have it in here, Black Mesa, after 15 years of development, the Crowbar Collective, the developers behind this game, finally releases their final version. So in case you don't know Black Mesa, Black Mesa it is a full remake of Half-Life 1 but using Source Engine. Well, we yeah, had the Source Engine remaster of the first Half-Life uh, developed by Valve, but it just felt like some modes that they have done there, they just kind of ported the map into Source Engine and that's it. All the models, all the environments, all the stuff about Half-Life 1, it was there, exactly there as it was before. Black Mesa doesn't, didn't really want it to be that. Black Mesa, it is a remake, not just a simple remaster, not just a simple port of the map and models. It is a full, re full imagination of Half Life 1. So let's start with the settings. I'm playing the game at 1080p and I'm just using the maximum settings available. Oh, whoops, uh, dynamic lightning quality wasn't really on maximum, but it is now. Every stuff, it is at maximum settings possible. And so let's start with the requirements. These guys recommend a quad core at 3.2 GHz, 8 GB of RAM, and a 4 GB video card. They don't really specify which graphic cards they do recommend, but they do recommend a graphic card that it has 4 gigabytes of VRAM. So like usual, I decided to test multiple resolutions. I started with 1080p with these maximum settings and I was a little bit shocked to see that both maximum settings and the high settings weren't really able to sustain 60 frames per second, despite the averages were quite good with the maximum settings being at 89 and the high settings being at 106, the 1% low were below 60 frames per second. So jumping on to 1440p, the ice settings uh, delivered an average of 75 frames per second with a 1% low of 47, and while the median settings what I got was an average of 97 and a 1% low of 66. And like usually, the 4K at median settings, average of 51, 1% low of 36, so it was an experience pretty much between the 30s and 60 frames per second. So I decided to test this specific level because it is way 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 more demanding than all the other levels available aside from Chan level. Chan levels are the latest levels available on this game and they were also the latest ones to be added to the game and the Chan levels are as demanding as this level but all the rest of the game the, it is quite undemanding so for example Right in here, I'm having 80 frames per second, sometimes even 60s, and sometimes even lower than 60, like 57 or 58 on this level. And Chen levels are pretty much the same thing, alright? But on the entire rest of the game, sometimes it is just running above 200 frames per second. So, it is quite unstable. So, at some point, you are running at 200 frames per second or even more close to 300, and at other points, you are struggling to get 60 frames per second. The fault for this, some people are really, a little bit pissed off with the performance, saying that there is performance issues everywhere. But I have my own blames to put uh, and why this happens. This game it is built in with Source Engine, the same engine behind the Half Life 2, the same engine behind CSGO. Alright, it is not the same engine behind Dota 2. Dota 2 it is using Source Engine 2 which is fully revamped and completely designed for today's hardware. Source Engine 1, the one that is in here in Black Mesa, it is a very old engine and as you can see it is still using DirectX 9 so it is so old and DirectX 9 have its own issues and limitations like it can't barely scale throughout all the cores uh, available from a Ryzen or from any s recent CPU or even multi-threading, the RTX 9 it is quite old. And the issue is Black Mesa really pushes a lot out of Source Engine and a lot out of DirectX 9 because at the time you actually didn't saw a game having you know so much stuff to do. This is pretty much like GTA 4. GTA 4 was very advanced for DirectX 9. And the same thing it is happening in here today with Black Mesa. This is way too much for Source Engine and way too much for 
DirectX 9. Despite it is not the most beautiful graphics in the world, far from it, this is nothing special at all at today's standards, this is way too much for the technology. That's why this game runs so bad. And that's why at some point you are just having 200 frames per second in less complex moments. And in more complex moments you just have lower frame rates than 70 frames or less than 60 frames per second. That's the reason. But aside from the performance issues, what I want to really talk in here it is about the game and why you should consider in getting it. So like I did told you before, this is a full remake of Half-Life 1. And Half-Life 1, for me, uh, when I started to play Half-Life, it was in 2004. Uh, my first experience with the Half-Life universe, it was Half-Life 2 in 2004. And when I started Half-Life 2, I was immediately, completely astonished with that. It was simply amazing. I just loved, I just loved everything, the ambience, everything about Half-Life 2. It, it was my favorite game and at the time and also Max Payne 2. Both of them were my favorite games from all the times including of course GTA Vice City from that time and all those games but seriously Half-Life 2 it was completely insane but I haven't really played Half-Life 1 and I wasn't really interested in playing it because every time I saw the graphics and the technology behind Half-Life 1 even at the time at 2004 I really thought it was very dated and at the time I was kind of a graphics or something that I am not at the moment and I just immediately discarded Half-Life 1 just because of its graphics and technology so let alone kids nowadays at 2020 uh, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure they won't, they won't just pick up Half Life One because of the graphics. I know there are some people that are different and want to experience old stuff, but most of the kids nowadays, or most most of the teenagers, or anyone that haven't played Half Life One before, I'm pretty sure it's not going to touch it because of its technology and its graphics. And Black Mesa found it is probably the only way that you have. To experience Half Life 1 with the recent technology of Source, which is already a little bit dated, but still very acceptable from today's standards, and with uh, revamped puzzles and revamped gameplay. So, Black Mesa, it is the only way for people nowadays to experience the feeling that we had before, or that people had before when playing Half-Life 1 for the first time. This is the way I see it, and Half-Life 1, it is a great game, but like I said, if you pick someone at, uh, at the moment that never plays Half-Life 1, it's going to discard it immediately, and if you put it Black Mesa in front of him, I'm pretty sure that he's going to accept playing it, because it looks amazing. Despite it's not the best graphics in the world at the moment, it feels amazing, it has a lot of physics and a lot of technology and the gameplay, it is just like Half-Life 2, which is amazing as usual. So that's the way I see it. And it is a great launch in my opinion, it still has some bugs here and there, there are the performance issues which people complain. The game it is already in Metacritic with 86% of score, which I find it really good. This was a mod, keep in mind, and now it is a full game and it took 15 years to deliver. So. Amazing, yet the reviews are overwhelmingly positive in Steam, 97% of the fans are completely satisfied with the game. It's impossible not to be if you love um, Half-Life 2 gameplay in Half-Life 1, and it is simply spectacular. And it, has, it is also not very expensive, you can get the game from $17.99 on Steam. I think if you want to experience Half-Life 1, this is completely mandatory you should go and just simply buy the game from steam at 17.99 i think that's all that i want to talk about uh, black mesa hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video and i do hope to see you soon goodbye